Ezlo! We beat the game! Eee, hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. Well, the game does take you back to the time before you've beaten Vati, just so you can continue on side quests and stuff like that. After beating the game, it unlocks certain post-game stuff that you can do now, of which I am going to start covering in this part, as well as a bunch of stuff, I should actually start up here, as well as a bunch of other stuff that I just couldn't quite fit in with the walkthrough parts themselves. So I'm going to start off by jumping down from the cloud tops and jumping down one more time here, because I'm now able to do this. Remember Big Goron? With its dynamic fingers? Uh -oh. Welcome, Goro! Oh, what a tiny Goron you are! You make this big Goron happy with this unexpected visit to my distant home. Oh. Oh, what is that you have there? Is that by any chance a shield? Well, among us Gorons, we know well the taste of steel. They are considered a fine delicacy. Little Goron, please Goro, let me just nibble on the corner, would you? I will give it back to you just as soon as I've had the tiniest taste. Would you please just let me have a bite? A lick? A tiny crumb? Uh, believe it or not, you do want him to nibble on your shield, so okay! But, little one, if I eat it, you will no longer have a shield. Do you mind? Why? Nah, that's just fine with me. If you swallow it, I can buy another one. <laughs> really? Goro? Thank you, Goro! I'll dig right in! And so he does. <laughs> and now you don't have a shield for now. Oh, delicious! It has a deep, rich taste, surpassing even the great praise I have heard. Uh, I got anything else to say. Oh, delicious! Oh, just a few more bites, please. Okay, so anyway, this is going to take me a little while, I mean, take him a little while to finish nibbling on it. So I am going to go back to Hyrule Town to do some other stuff. Starting with buying some Lon Lon milk from Malon here. You'll see why in a second. Uh, I'll, ex I'll explain it a little bit later. Oh, hello there. I'm selling creamy, nutritious Lon Lon milk for 100 rupees per bottle. Would you like some? I would. Oh. <laughs> Well, this is awkward. You're free! Free! Wow, that only gave me four hertz. I thought they gave me a lot more than that. <laughs> well, I, I mean, I thought it was like five, but that's not a lot more. But I mean, I thought it gave me more than that before. I don't know, I'm probably just confusing Zelda games anyway. But l let me have some milk. Milk, please, now. Oh, I didn't explain the milk during the walkthrough uh, either, did I? Uh, it's got two servings, and each serving recovers five hearts, so it's ten rupees per heart, basically. Um, over here, this is why I got the milk. Remember these pickle light jars at the uh, beetle shop here? Uh, there's three that are currently empty at the moment in time, so... I, uh, this is what I'm going to be doing this side quest for, and you're going to see why I wasn't able to put this inside the uh, walkthrough as well. So let's start by going over to the Minish Woods and don't forget your milk. The milk is essential for this to get it all started. So let's go back to Minish Size. Remember that barrel house at the right side of the village? That is the place that I'm going. You know, the place that they're using to cultivate uh, the Picolite, that is the place that we are going to be able to get new Picolite via the milk. So, let's go down there, shall we? And I kind of sounded like Big Or on there. <laughs> uh, I think it... Well, I think it is this one. You. I need milk to continue my improvements on this Pickle Bloom. I wish someone would bring me some. Hey! What have you got there? Is that llama milk? Did you bring it for me? Why, yes I did. It's almost as if I knew what I needed to bring. <laughs> wow, thanks. Now I can continue my research. Come on back when this flower blossoms. And just like the mirror shield, 
My new mu Pico Bloom hasn't blossomed yet. Come back soon, though. So let's go do some other stuff while we wait for that to bloom, shall we? Starting with Hyrule Town. Well, actually, pretty much everything is in Hyrule Town, <laughs> you know, that I have left to do. Uh, I was told that I am able to push this statue aside. Ah, so you can. So, and this isn't as blocked off as I thought it was. Maybe it is like a, a shelter of sorts, like a hidden shelter or something like that. Ah, I can't push it back. Can't push it around. But uh, yeah, that's pretty interesting. I'm surprised I never tried that before, actually. Like, I've come from that place before, obviously, but I, I never thought to actually try pushing the statue. I thought it was like a, a one-way door or something like that, I guess you could say. Oh, um, another thing that I didn't do uh, after, during the walkthrough was explore town uh, after Vati started going on a rampage after fusing the last... Uh, element with the sword because uh, it, it was just yet another thing that I just didn't really have a place for in the pacing of the walkthrough, I guess you could say. Uh, of course, you could have explored it on your own time, but I never really showed it. Uh, there's guards all around the place. Uh, there's a bunch of people missing from there because they ran... Uh, let's see what the mayor has to say. Monsters are coming! Everyone stay indoors! Oh, that doesn't apply to you, my boy. You go get them, Link! Your sword and bravery bravery will save the day. <laughs> he knows I am the chosen one. Um, oh, I didn't explain the hotel as well. As long as I'm here, I'll uh, chat with people while I explain it. Uh, the rooms down at the bottom floor, uh, depending on how much you pay to get a better room, uh, uh, makes the prize differ. I thought you could actually get different prizes than just kinstones from the chests, uh, but I was mistaken earlier on. <laughs> And then I thought that. Uh, but if you take the cheapest room, you'll get a green kinstone. If you take the medium size, uh, medium price room, you'll get a blue one. Uh, the most expensive one will give you a red kinstone. <laughs> he knows he can hold his own. Sure, you can. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> I think there's a slight contradiction there between the two there. Or, I mean, a disagreement, excuse me. Uh, but I don't, I'm not sure, oh, oh, and all rooms will recover your health, obviously, but you can recover your health for free back at your own home, but I'm gonna take the 50 rupee room just to show you how this works. All rooms basically work, uh, the same, and it's generally cheaper to get, uh, kinstones from the Goron at Hyrule Town than it is, um, at this hotel as well. So I, I don't really see any point to coming here, except well, except for the green kinstone, because the green kinstone I think is uh, um, 10 rupees or 20 rupees cheaper, I think, because I think it's uh, 100 rupees back at the um, uh, the Goron shop. Anyway, this is the medium sized room. This will have a blue kinstone. You pay for a uh, night at the room, and over here is the deluxe suite, which has a red kinstone if you paid for the room. Okie dokie. Let's move on, shall we? Um, who else can I talk to? No, there's no ghosts around town. I fused kinstones. This one's gone. We don't have to worry about it anymore. Oh, uh, Anju's chicken place here. The chicken that was on the roof, the cuckoo on the roof, um, that one might have a kinstone fusion at times, which is why I didn't get anything out of coming through here before. But if you're missing a kinstone fusion, try... Uh, the chicken on the roof there before Vati takes over, otherwise you're gonna have to, <clears throat> otherwise you'll be looking elsewhere. Anyway, let's go inside here and see. Mm, yeah, I think you'll be okay. I'm pretty sure a hero is guaranteed to save the day. Oh, I can't talk to the kitty, that's too bad. Or can I? Can I? Kitty, kitty? Oh, I just glitched through it. Nope, kitty. Oh, yay! <laughs> I was wondering why that uh, search thing wasn't uh, showing up. Oh, uh, if you didn't do this minigame earlier on, uh, this is probably the best time to do the minigame because there's less people in town to get in your way. Uh, do you have anything to say about this crisis that will be averted later? Eh, uh, guess not. Wait, postman? Maybe I should talk to the postman. There aren't even any animals here anymore. What's happening? I don't know. I don't know. Hmm. Nothing new here. 
Mm, no new dialogue there. Let's go. Um, Cafe, I'm gonna have to come back here later, but I'll, I'll show the dialogue uh, right now of the place. Uh, because I actually have to come back here after I uh, get the last figurines. And also show off a bunch of figurines as well, I suppose. A lot of the uh, dialogue of, of the figurines isn't all that important. But yeah, I guess that's true. I was rather happy to get all the Kinstone Fusion. But anyway, um, what I mean is that the, the dialogue for the... I should say the descriptions for the figures aren't really all that... Oh wait, what was that last line? All that really good overall. I mean, there's a bunch of tips in there, but I mean in terms of entertainment. And I'm pretty sure that I covered the majority of the stuff that's already in... already mentioned in the figurines as well. I wonder how Swiftblade is doing. Oh, there goes the Pulseman. I will catch him sometime. Swiftblade. Ah, there's nothing more I can teach you, young master! Now you must train yourself! Okay, no new dialogue. <laughs> But it is still fun to read his dialogue in that tone. Right, I'm gonna go around here... Hmm. Interesting, interesting. Oh, this is the last hard piece that I've still yet to get to, which involves the figurines. I'll go flop over there shortly. Uh, people got scared and they fled! Uh, what's... Oh yeah, here's, here's the closed library, which also closes your way. Uh, back into this place. Too bad. I thought I said that like two or three times before. Postman! Able to withstand the greatest of dub delivery challenges. I am the postman of tomorrow, here today! Indeed you are. You are incredibly dedicated, even in this crisis. Uh, off camera, I've been buying a bunch of a uh, bunch of these swordsman newsletters here. Hello, we've got a new issue for you. I just wanted to show this dialogue, so I'll be able to buy the last one as well, as long as I'm here. I've got 200 rupees. Oh, I gotta get more rupees uh, as well for uh, the red potion later. Mm, yes, I would. That was all the same dialogue, except for the new issue thing. And remember, they come out as swift as a blade stroke, so check often. Okay. It's in! We got all the issues! <laughs> it really does come in very quickly. Well, uh, anyway, I can go through 2 through 8 now, because uh, I haven't read through these as well. This is, but it's probably going to be a bunch of stuff that you already know, but it might be entertaining. This is the Swordsman Newsletter number 2. Would you like to read it? Yes. Swordsman Newsletter number 2, this year's must-have item! Have you seen those sparks that move along walls? Your sword doesn't work, so maybe you've just given up fighting them. But have you tried all of your items? Like, what about your boomerang? Give that a shot! You might be surprised at the results! I will continue reading. Monster took your shield? Well, don't get all down about it. All hope is not lost. Beat him up quickly and you might just get it back. Let's go. <laughs> the mirror shield! A beautiful, glimmering shield capable of reflecting monster shots. You can use it to turn their attacks back at them. Or so they say, but it's just a rumor. Let's continue. Swiftblade, signing off! Issue 2 is out the door. We've got our first reader letter. Let's answer it now. Hey, Swiftblade, what's your best feature? That would be my eyebrows! I spent a lot of time grooming these suckers! <laughs> See you in Issue 3. Until next time, warriors! Issue 3. It's already in because I bought it. Let's do it. Got a bone to pick? You sure, you're sure to run into more than a few skeletons on your journey. That's why this week's newsletter is dedicated to all you bone breakers. A good solid whack to the head should do the trick. That's their weak spot. Try smacking them with a beam from your cane of Pocky. Wait, really? You should also try your gust jar. The head should just pop right off. They all go to pieces once they lose their head. That's very interesting. I didn't know that. <laughs> They just teach her those darn bombs. If you hit them with your sword, they'll run all over the place and explode. But don't you worry, this newsletter is here to teach you how to cope. Your best bet is arrows. One shot can take them down. That's also pretty handy, actually. But you lose the uh, utility feature of being able to use them as a bomb. You can fire from a safe distance, too. There's also your gust jar. Draw them in and shoot them out, and they'll even blow up whatever they hit, as I showed in the last dungeon. 
Mm, light arrows are amazing. They go through grass. They fill a monster with one strike. They're handy. They're dandy. They're a super duper ultra item. Or so it seems. But it's just a rumor. Mm, Swiftblade signing off. We've got more reader mail this time. Hey, Swiftblade, how many siblings do you have? There are nine of us, not counting the ghosts of Swiftblade the first. I'm the oldest, but again, if that's what you. <clears throat> that is, if you don't count Swiftblade the first. <laughs> See you in issue four. Until next time, warriors. Yeah, I wonder how. How old Swiftblade the first is. Perhaps we'll never know. Number four. Seek out the strong! Have you ever seen a golden monster? When you fuse kinstone pieces, you might get the rare chance to meet one! <clears throat> They're much stronger than the regular version of that monster. Of course, if you beat one of them, you'll get something really good. If you see one, go fight it instantly. Just drop everything and go. Hmm, coping with a thorny situation. These thorny little thorn monsters, your sword doesn't hurt them at all. But if you bump them with your shield up, they'll totally flip. Oh, he's talking about the spiked beetles. There are other ways, though. Flip her with a bomb! As I show... Oh, wait, actually, I didn't show that yet, did I? I guess I could show that in Simon Simulations. Or your cane of Pocky! Or with a well-placed down thrust! How's that for options? Your head must be swimming at the possibilities! Remote bombs! Here's a secret. You can blow them up whenever you want! How cool is that? Or so it seems. But it's just a rumor. These are getting shorter. <laughs> I went to the Lon Lon Ranch the other day. I saw the ghost of Swiftblade the first to feed a cow with his bare hands. <laughs> it was kind of sad, really. <laughs> See you in issue 5. Until next time, warriors. Oh, no one read your newsletter. Okay, what are these for? Special edition covers. Fire up that chili chump. Have you seen a sorcerer who throws cold curses at you? Yeah, the one who keeps disappearing. That's him! Well, next time he shows up, whack him with your lantern! Fire against ice, it's the law of nature. <laughs> Those pig-faced moblins. You see them around Minish Woods, right? They're big and dumb. Well, they're also rich. Beat one up for some quick cash! <laughs> That's pretty nice to know, but I think it's still faster to dig at the spot next to your house. A tidbit of, of, of amulets. I hear that there is a mysterious amulet that raises your abilities if you use it. Well, that's just what I heard anyway. But it's just rumor. I think he's talking about the charms that you get from the element... I mean, the Oracle Sisters, or Oracle Girls. Excuse me. I went to the Smiths the other day. The old guy's still looking pretty good. But I am a little concerned about the guy in green tights on the hill there. Until next time, warriors. See you next in issue 6. <laughs> Yes, I would. That's what I'm here for. Here's what you do! Have you seen a monster wrapped in bandages? It tries to grab you? Well, there's a pro tip. Bandages burn easily, especially on a mummy. I don't have time to spell this out, do I? Yeah, you know what I'm about to say. That's right. It's time to light up their world. <sighs> yeah, I already showed this in the walkthrough. <laughs> well, I'm not, I, mean, I didn't show the newsletter, but I mean, I showed that they burn. Those heavy-handed floor masters and their irritating friends, the wall masters. They really, they're really annoying, but if you beat one, they say you'll be rich. Come to think of it, they do have pretty dang good drops. But it's just a rumor. Don't complain to me if it turns out to be wrong. Rupees stealing nasties. Those rupee camouflage creeps have been ripping off a lot, a lot off of you. A lot of you off lately. I just kept reading that in different orders of words. Anyway, I heard that you greedy adventurers are getting soaked. In fact, I heard that the greedy you are, the more it takes. Or so it seems. But it's just a rumor. Swiftblade signing off. We've got a read. We've got reader mail again. Yay! Hey, Swiftblade. Do you have a hobby? Well, this should be good. Training. Okay, maybe it wasn't that good. It's kind of obvious. <laughs> Two more to go, for real swordsmen only. You know the roll attack, right? Yeah, the one you do mid-roll! I bet Greyblade told you to attack just as you finish the roll, right? Well, actually, you can do it just as you start the roll, too. But the timing is very tricky. You can do it! Hone your skill! That's interesting, I didn't know that either. Probably because I never try using that. <laughs> the journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step. Or something. 
camouflage shell shockers. These fiends festoon themselves with grass and rocks to deceive your eyes. I think he's talking about the spiked beetles. But you can remove their camel without trying to pick them up, you know. Hit them with the cane of hockey. Suck them with a gust jar. How do you like that? Now you're a camel buster. It's kind of obvious, actually. Those oh, shoot short fuse bombs. I told you about them in issue three. But here's another thing. Apparently, they drop bombs at a higher rate than other enemies. Well, so it seems. But it's just a rumor. He knows a lot of rumors. <laughs> the next issue. I mean, the next one is our last issue. After that, it'll be time for me to put down my pen. As much as I like writing, I'm a teacher at heart. Well, he's kind of teaching in these, is in these issues, so I don't, I don't know what, he's, what he means by that. Maybe he's like a hands-on teacher. But I know you'll miss me when I'm gone. I'm like a star. A superstar! Mario's the superstar! Issue 8, the last one, is coming soon. Hope you're looking forward to it. Until next time, warriors! Here we go, the final newsletter. I'm getting all teary-eyed. Yes, I would. The way to the Sacred Blade! Have you ever wished you could unleash your spin attack a little faster? Or perhaps split faster? Or maybe waited a little longer? <clears throat> Wanted a little longer? Great spin attack. I just keep misreading that, so let's move on. Or it's only natural to want these things. Every warrior wants to be his best. So for now, I mean, so now for some good news. I haven't confirmed it, but there may be a way. All of these things could be yours. If you only figure out how to do it. I already did. I explained this in the walkthrough. That one-eyed statue I gore. You have to shoot him with an art arrow to make it move. But if you beat him, he almost always drops spare arrows for you. So don't worry about running out of arrows once you've beaten him. Just fire away! Oh, my poor throat. Our most fable creations of the Minish. I heard that they drop kinstone pieces when you beat them. Wow, these issues are really outdated in comparison to how far I am in the walkthrough. Or so it seems, but it's just a rumor. That's all the news for you. If you get lonely, just come over and spar for a while. And thanks for your reading. I hope you've enjoyed it as much as I have. And now, let me sign off one final time with that oh so familiar farewell. Until next time, warriors! And that was the last issue. <laughs> Alright, let's explore the rest of town here. Um, something tells me you guys are going to fail. I've seen you guys get demolished by Vati. Um, yeah, they're, they're pretty safe in the clouds. Especially since I'm going to uh, defeat them later. Spoiler alert! Uh, no thanks. Just want to check her as well as long as I'm here to see if she had different dialogue. Oh, apparently Dr. Left in here is a... Um, is showcased in other games as well. I've noticed some other, in other Zelda games that he's apparently um, a character from another game, apparently. So he's like an Easter egg of sorts as well. I don't really know. I mean, it's not coming to mind which game he's from, so I'm... Hmm. So, but yeah, he he in, 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 he in himself is an Easter egg. Alright, what else do you have here? Um, I'll be at the castle a little bit later. <laughs> Aha! Well, that was a blast. And I guess I did hit. It did have some punch to it. And I'll wager I'm the only person who could have gotten it done that quickly. You are a pretty fast home builder, I have to admit. I'm so busy, so busy. Gotta finish here so I can repair the steps next. Uh, looks like. Mm, yeah, there doesn't seem to be any new uh, dialogue here. Got anything? Nope, guess not. Alright, um, I forgot to mention the name of this place. While it is the figurine shop, its official name is Nintendo. Yeah, it's Nintendo. It's not Nintendo, it's Nintendo with no uh, second N there. I mean, no N in the middle. Anyway, he's got more figures because I beat the game and I didn't collect all uh, 130 figures. Remember, if you collected all 130 figures before you beat the game, you're going to miss out on these last six. So, yeah. Oh, hello again. I was hoping you'd come back. I made a new figurine. I thought you might like to tr try and get it. So let's trade. Because I grinded for a ton of shells, I can easily spend 100 shells per uh, poss probability increase here just to guarantee that I will get a, a new figurine each and every pill, e each and every pull, which is exactly what I plan on doing here. And this is the Gyorg pair. It appears in the Palace of Winds. Females are larger than males, so that means the blue one is the female, and the uh, 
uh, red one is the male, they fly around the Palace of Winds preying on adventures. <laughs> Kidoki, and you don't have to talk to him again. You just need to walk up to the handle. Uh, it's still very, very time-consuming to do this. So yeah, you're gonna be spending a lot of time in this place by just dialogue alone, as well as increasing the uh, the shell count to make sure that you're gonna get a new figure or uh, uh, basing your spins off of good probability. And one of the secret figures, Link and Zelda, Zelda and Link, these two became fast friends because of Smith and the King of Hyrule. Zelda wishes that sometimes unreliable Link were just a wee bit stronger. Well, that can't happen unless you get me heart containers. <sighs> Why did you give me the shield? Why? I still wonder to this very day. Why? <sighs> anyway, let's get some more figurines. Oh, why doesn't it go up faster? Just why? Yeah, I'm really spending a lot of shells here just to guarantee uh, that I'll get figurines. Really, I recommend like boosting it up to like 50% or something like that just to conserve shells. And uh, restarting the game if you make a mistake. I mean, not make a mistake, it's, um, to make sure you get a figure each time by saving between figures and just restarting when you don't get a figure. It's, it's kind of cheating luck, but it saves you some time overall for grinding for shells. Anyway, the Minish Ezlo, before he was cursed by Vati, he is a famous Minish Sage, even among Minish inventors. He was renowned for his amazing creations. And no, I'm not uh, out of sync. I, I just clicked ahead there while I was reading the last bit to speed, to speed things along. Oh, wait, 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 what? How did I do that? Oh, hold the R button and press up on the D-pad. I found some a secret I didn't know before. Well, I don't know if it's a secret, but that is remarkably handy. And I wish I would have known that while I was getting figurines before, because that really speeds things along. Secret figure, the Black Knight, appears in Dark Hyrule Castle. This is the strongest Dark Knight with a good balance of attack and defense. They will do anything to stop you. No kidding, but they did not do a very good job of stopping me. <laughs> Alright, uh, yes. Hold that R button. Press up. Man, that is just way, way faster. <sighs> I would have saved so much time, but I wish I would have known that. Uh, Vati Reborn. The sorcerer Vati took this form after draining the power of the Light Force from Princess Zelda. The evil beams from his eyes are devastating. Cheers from Barlov. Uh, yeah, I think it's Barlov. His name is. Karlov is the other. Um, wait, maybe I'm getting the, guy, the guys mixed up. I guess we'll see when we do when we get to the figures. <laughs> yeah, beautiful, absolutely beautiful. The last two figurines I think are coming, and this is Vati transfigured. Once Vati's body has been shattered, this dark form rises up. All that remains of the evil, evil sorcerer. I mean, oh, excuse me. This dark form rises up all that remains of the evil sorcerer. Only the sacred force horror can defeat him. Because you need to split. <laughs> Although I, I have a feeling it's possible to do it via teamwork. Then again, it might not be possible to deflect shots. And you need all sorts of other gadgets to do so as well. So, maybe not. <laughs> it's a full-fledged adventure that allows you to beat Vati, I suppose. Final figure, as you might have guessed. Vati's Wrath. This is the embodiment of the purest evil, the final form of the power mad Vati. Its mind is consumed with a hunger for destruction. Find its weakness. And he's floored that I got the final figure. Because, well, I got every single figure, excuse me. No way! Congratulations! You've collected every single figure I've ever made! I'll keep a good eye on your collection on the shelf here. And here, I want you to have this. It's the Karlov Medal to commemorate your copious collection. I hope you treasure it always. Woo! The Karlov Medal! So his name is Karlov. Um, it replaces your uh, shells, because you don't need them anymore. And it, while it does look like a completely useless item, this is actually used for something, so it's indeed more useful than the Tingle, tingle Trophy. Um, I'm going to go back to the figures a little bit later, just because it's going to take me a while to go through them. So first I'm going to go over to the cafe. Hold on, I just want to... Uh, oh! 
Whoa! Yeah, I figured this was the guy. It wasn't actually the cafe, it was the guy outside the cafe. This is why I wanted to talk to him before I went to talk to people inside. Anyway, you did it! I can't believe you did it! This is a totally complete set! How incredibly awesome! And you even got the legendary Karlov medal! It shines with a beautiful light. It's every collector's dream! What you show me here, it's just amazing. It's just amazing. Here, feel free to go in my house and take whatever you want and thanks. Cause, you know, I'm rich. <laughs> and it gives me... Oh, he, yeah, I thought he was gonna give me a key. Well, he unlocked this house and his house is this one with the game's final heart piece. Look at it! Look at it! It's beautiful! 20 hearts! It's spectacular! All this work has come down to that! And I already beat the game, so I can't even take advantage of having all 20 hearts. <laughs> well, I mean, because there's not really all that much dangerous stuff to fight, but I mean, I can take advantage of it. Anyway, 200 rupees, 200 rupees, bet you it's 200 rupees, it is 200 rupees! And now, I bet you are wondering what this phonograph is. Get ready, for it is probably the game's greatest prize. It's a phonograph, and it looks like it works. Get her tried out? Yes. It's the game's... Sound test! You can listen to every song in the game right here anytime you want. Yes! <laughs> and there's 52 apparently. Vati appears. You got an element. So yeah. I'm not going to go through all of these because you've already known, I mean, you already know all the songs in the game. But it's, it's amazing. It's so awesome. And it's totally worth getting all the figures for this, even if it is time consuming. Because it's so nice to put on headphones and listen to this or something like that. This game has a great soundtrack. Anyway, okay, I'm done here. <laughs> I sounded like Swift Blade there. Um, it's possible, I mean... Uh, it, ah, jeez, I'm getting tongue-tied. It's possible that the Goron has finished finished the shield, finished gnawing on the shield by now. So let's go and check to see if he's done, because I've been doing a, a bunch of stuff, and it's based, I think, off of time and how much you travel and stuff like that. So let's see. Mmm. Oh, delicious! That was excellent. Thank you so much. Now, I finally know the legendary taste of a shield! And I will happily fulfill my promise. Let me just spit your shield back out again. Uh, uh, gooey! Need sanitizer, bleach, alcohol, everything. You got the mirror shield! This means I've got every single item in the game as well now. Woohoo! This mighty shield shines like a mirror. Use it to reflect enemy attacks. And yes, you can only get this after beating the game. This gives you more deflective properties than the original shield in that you can deflect uh, stuff you couldn't deflect before, like magic attacks. Goro? Goro? It, it seems your shield has changed shape a little as I was chewing on it. Oh, but it's fine. It is still a shield after all, just a slightly different shaped one, I think. Well, I have to go now. Goodbye, Goro! No! Wait, he's still here. <laughs> Thank you for the delicious shield you gave me last time you came. I think of that flavor even now. Mmm. 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 <sighs> even thinking about it takes me to faraway places. If you ever find another such shield, you must let me taste it, please! I think it's possible to lose your mirror shield, which is why he wants to taste other shields. So if you ever lose a mirror shield to a like like or something like that, uh, you're able to recover it. I mean, you're able to get him to make another one. Anyway, let's see the shield in action, shall we? 
Alright, I have my sword and shield magic card out. Oh wait, never mind, that's I was thinking of something else. I'm gonna flop down here because I know there's a bunch of wizard robes on this. Oh here you go. Aha! And you were not able to deflect that before getting the mirror shield, and it is very handy to be able to do so. Well, okay, it's maybe not that handy because there's better ways of taking care of uh, wizard robes, but I mean it's just well, I guess it's just nice to be able to max out your inventory with the best possible equipment that you can get. Uh, the mirror shield, as you can tell, is not an, uh, um, a required item since you have to beat the game before getting it, but uh, it's a nice added touch that you are able to get prizes for um, beating the game completely. Anyway, now I think I'm going to go back over to the Minish to see if it's done making the Pickle Bite. So, I'll see you over there. Barrel House! Here we are. My new Pico Bloom hasn't blossomed yet. Come back soon though. Really? Wow. How long does this take? Well, I guess I can do other stuff. By other stuff, I mean getting the rest of the ingredients for the Pico Blooms. So, I'm going to go here at Mount Crenel. I'm sure you remember how to go here for the mineral water. And there we go. There's one other ingredient that I'm going to need to make another Pico Bloom, so I'll see you at the next spot. Back at the Lon Lon Ranch, I'm just going to show you this path one more time, just in case you forgot. Go through here, go down here, go up here, and you'll find Syrup's Hut, which is where I can get a red potion from, which is one of the things that I need to get another Pico Bloom thingy. So, let's see what she has to say. Ah, welcome! Back for Granny's famous red and blue potions? One step and you're full of energy! Which do you like, dearie? Red or blue? Well, I would prefer the red one, actually. Thank you. Once you've tried my new red potion, you'll never go back to the blue stuff. Shall I fill your bottle? <clears throat> For 150 rupees. What do you say, my pretty young boy? Yes. Yes and yes. It recovers all of your life energy. Oh, and I, I never explained the blue potion, did I? That one recovers um, eight hearts. So, ever heard of Granny's blue my, oh, my blue potion? What's it? 60 rupees. So it's cheaper, but uh, depending on how many hearts you have, it's not quite as worth the value, I think, and it's not, uh, you know, because you have to have more of this to recover as much as this could, so you're probably always better off uh, getting red potions, and you know where to grind for rupees if uh, you need them. So anyway, next spot I go. Here's something that I didn't show during the walkthrough, is other Simon's Sleep Simulations. So... Uh, no thanks, I know how this is done. I sleep, I battle, let's do this. Oh, I also forgot to mention, the name of the school is the uh, Fun Day School. Yeah, there's a pun on the, uh, the name Sunday. So, yeah. <laughs> oh, I just realized that uh, uh, I, I can use my mirror shield productively now. Haha! <laughs> Even though I'm just able to use my regular shield on that anyway. Ooh, fairy. Kind of a rare drop. Especially nice in this, uh, pff, in this simulation here. Dang you, Helmasaurs! Haha. -ha. Oh, pff, wasn't even paying attention to the, uh, <laughs> the spiky beetles. Um, need this out again. Whoops. Boop. There we go. The, the, these guys really remind me of blue shells in uh, Mario Kart. Oh geez, second wave! Second wave this time. I wonder how many um, different kinds of... Ah! Like how many different simulations you could come across. Maybe I'll do this one more time after this. Because I still need... I, f I mean, I still need, feel I need to burn more time to ensure that I can get the uh, uh, Pico Light Bloom to bloom. I don't know what the heck causes it to bloom. I know it's time, but I mean, I don't know how long it takes to do so. Alright, and you get a prize, which is, I should say, it should be 50 rupees, I think. Oh, Kinsel piece. <laughs> Maybe you can get 50 rupees as well, too? I don't know. 
Ah, getting a little hoarse here. I think I'll try one more simulation just to see if the layout changes and what I get changes. Uh, indeed I did. That was pretty fun. One more, one more, one more. No thanks. I know, I know I've done this two times already. I am a... I was going to say a good customer, but come to think that I'm getting stuff that's worth more than what I'm paying into. So I'm taking away from money from the business because I'm not dying. Oh, there's a different version of it here. Interesting. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Levers. Plus Keaton's. A match made in heaven. Okay, that's actually not much of an issue. The Beatles, however, are probably more of an issue than anything. Go away. That was it. Why did that other one have two waves? And another kinstone piece. Hmm. <laughs> okay, one more time. <laughs> I'm just curious, because I thought I could get rupees, uh, <laughs> rupees out of this. Plus, I'm curious to see what other uh, simulations there might be. This might be the pit of a hundred trials for um, this, uh, this Zelda game, so to speak. <sighs> this could be the most dangerous one yet. Or... It's a repeat of the first one. Yeah, I think, yeah, it's, this is this is definitely a repeat a repeat of the first one. I need Gust Jar. Oh, boop. You guys are the worst. The bee hats, because you have to have a specific item out for them just to take care of them. And that kind of uh, lowers, your, lowers your defenses as well. I guess it's a strategic thing. Right? But hey, I've got 20 hearts. <laughs> Whoops, what did I, why did I do that? Why did I do that? I don't know. Only I can know. Oh, there's 20 rupees. So you can't get rupees from this. Alright, I'm done here. <laughs> Since I got a, a repeat session there. So, I guess I'll go see if it's blooming? Maybe it's blooming? Or maybe I have to actually reset the game or something like that in order to get it blooming? Like, save and quit the game and then... Because it, I, it, I feel like it's taking more time than um, than it should be. Like, would they really want you to wait 20 plus minutes just to get Pico Light bloomed each and every time? Because that seems a little bit excessive, in my opinion. <laughs> then again, it's been a while since I did this, so I, I didn't really pay much attention too how long it took before because you know I, I would get some stuff bloom and I would do some more adventuring and, and whatnot but as I said in this walkthrough I just didn't really have a place for it in the walkthrough because it was just hard to fit it in especially with this uh, time issue as well because you know I have to keep uh, going on with other things while I do stuff. Oh yeah it is blooming! Woohoo! And will you give it to me? Uh, Mount Colonel mineral, mineral Water? Oh, I, I have that! Why, yes I do! Again, it's almost as if I knew what you wanted! <laughs> Alright, how long will it take to blossom? So I guess these are the yellow ones. And uh, once you buy these, they'll uh, Beetle will start selling them in town. I mean, once you get these bloomed, Beetle will start uh, selling them in town, excuse me. Alright, let's see. <laughs> tricky, tricky. Uh, maybe, maybe what it is is that it's how many times you transition from um, room to room like this, and it's not so much about the time frame per se. Like maybe I'll I'll see if the other ones are in bloom now. It doesn't look like it. Mm, okay, so I'll just mess around and do some stuff like off camera and see what I can do to get those suckers to bloom. Alright, I save and quit the game to see if that will have an impact on the Pico Light blooms. No, that did not. I mean, I, I should say I saved and reset the game, so... Hmm, I don't know. Maybe I'll go mess around at Simon's simulations while I bide my time waiting for the uh, uh, Pico Light... Or, Pico blooms to bloom, so 
see when it actually is active. Whoa, 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 new variation. New variation. Very dangerous variation. Ah, get, oops. Get off of me. Lantern. Firing things up. Oh, stop it. Whoa, this is a, this is like extra hard mode. <laughs> I'm glad I went through this a couple more times to see and I'm glad I didn't stop filming. Speaking of, I've been filming for like 50 minutes or so, so... <laughs> ah, stop it. No. I'm not bothering with the lack of tubes for the most part there because they are, um... They shoot such slow blasts that it doesn't really matter what they're, ah, what they're doing, so yeah. Stop that. No. I wonder if I can deflect the, uh... Um... Uh, Lightning back to Lakitu's with the mirror shield. That would be interesting. Hey, you. Aha! It works. It works very well, actually. No, nope, not. Don't shoot that way. Stop it. Ah. <laughs> Wah. This better give me a really good prize. Wah. Oh, that didn't one hit kill you? Oh. One more time. Boop. Boop. Whoa. Hmm. Maybe not as vulnerable as I thought you would be to that, because it didn't seem like that I one hit killed the other one? Or something? Ah, ball and chain soldiers. Oh, wait, you? Oh, I was gonna say, are you done already? It didn't sound like, it didn't seem like... Oh! Oh, jeez, oh, I pushed the wrong button! <laughs> I was just... Like, wasn't really thinking straight there, which is why I had that pause. Oh, needless to say, Lakitu, once you take his cloud, it's pretty much over for it. <laughs> there we go. Oops. Didn't realize how much damage I've been taking because I've been so sloppy. Oh, geez. Well, this actually uh, brings up a, a thing. What happens if I do die in the, the simulations? Because I never actually had that happen to me before. Is it possible to die by the simulation? I suppose. Oh no 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 <laughs> no 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 no! <laughs> bad bad genies, very very bad. Um, no, I got a fairy. I'm a, I'm okay. Got a little worry about that. Mm. Oh wait, that's my drop bomb. I'm not too worried about- No, 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 yeah! Bad! Oh. <laughs> I've also got the red potion in my inventory, which I can always go back and get a second one from the, uh, Syrups Hut. Wow, this is like... Whoa! <laughs> this is like super hard mode. <laughs> Stop it! Never before have I had such a hard simulation. Alright, remote bombs. Oh, these are the weaker kinds of dark huts. So they shouldn't take that many hits to. Oops. Yeah. I'm, not I'm not really too worried about the wizard ropes. I'm just worried about their range, per se, I guess you could say. Like, where they're facing and whatnot. Aha! Oh, I'm feeling a little burned out. I shouldn't have recorded this much all at once, but oh, I will prevail. I will prevail. Oh, is that it? That's it. Better be a good prize for all of that. Oops. Red Kinstone piece. Wow. That is a pretty good prize if you need Red Kinstone pieces, considering that they're pretty rare. Well, that was fun. <laughs> okay, what happens if you die in this thing? I've got two hearts here, so let's just see for the... F wow! No! I already saved my game, so it doesn't really matter. Stop that! No, you don't really do all that much damage, do you? <laughs> I'd like to take damage faster than that, please. Just to see what happens... Oh, you actually do game over. Well, I'll be. Uh, no, I would not like to save, actually. <laughs> but I will continue. Heal me, fairylicious ones! Heal me! Oh, I gotta go back in again. <laughs> Yeah, this is definitely cheaper than the hotel. Are you done yet? Oh, they are done! Yay! Blue Pico Blooms! Woohoo! 
Oh, they're so beautiful. So shiny. So glowy. Alright, last one. And red potion. I've still got that red potion that I bought because I didn't need it in the simulation. Woo! Okay, I'll be back. Ah, I was trying to get this variation a, uh, a bunch more times just so I could show it off to you. Uh, let's see what I should do here. Ha! Yes, I escaped the death that is the like like swarm. Yes, I know you're in the center of the battlefield, but it's not going to be enough to hide in the ground to defeat me. You've got to pop out. You've got to attack. You're doing a terrible job at this. <laughs> Aha! One left, and then I could switch to the shield. Well, I could still switch to shield, actually. It's kind of funny that you can bounce into them with the shield. It's not like you have to wait for them to attack you. You can actually use the shield as a defensive weapon. Whoa! Round two! <laughs> just trying to knock things away with my sword just to play it safe. Can I, like... Yeah, I didn't think that would do anything. Well, it aggravates them, it does something. Oh, these are all uh, rupee likes. Get off. At least they don't steal your shield, though. That would be sad. <laughs> yeah, go away. Stop it. No. No. Bad. Stop it. Pea hats. Terrible. Evil. Critters. Boomerang. Ha! Ha ha! Ha ha! I think this is a little bit faster than using the Gush Jar, actually. And I, uh, these are really dangerous simulations. I mean, if you can die in your sleep like that, it's also a little bit disturbing thinking of that. Because, you know, you, you have like a bad dream or something and you die in your sleep. Well, hmm. <laughs> Maybe that's a more adult reference that they're going for here. But at least I was able to show the game over screen in this walkthrough in some way, shape, or form, I suppose. Anyway, I think I'm going to go back to the Pickle Light Bloomer and see if it's finally done. Bloomer, Cultivator, same word. <laughs> Alright, it's ready! Look, I succeeded in growing an orange Pico Bloom thanks to your help! I'm so grateful to you! Alright, and now... I'm taking a break from my research, but I have lots of good ideas. Super Pico Bloom, Hyper Pico Bloom... Cyber Pico Bloom? Which one should I work on first? Well, none of them will be in this game, because there aren't any more Picos to bloom in this game, as you've seen them in the back, and they're all bloomed in that area. Now, to finish off this walkthrough part, I should say to finish off the walkthrough in general, absolutely everything is complete. There is nothing more to... Uh, oh, the figurines. Forgot about the figurines. Oh, poopers. Still gotta show the figurines. So I guess maybe not. I thought I could show you, I mean, I could explain the uh, uh, Pico Light and then be, be done with the part, but I completely forgot about uh, the, the figurine show, so to speak. I did a lot of work getting those figurines, and I intend on showing them. Well, briefly, just to go through the list of them. As I said, I'm not going to go through the dialogue uh, of each and every one of them, because that's going to take forever, but I will show you the, the figurines. Anyway, here's the new Pico Lights. Uh, I clicked one that... I already know about... Uh, start from the outside, it's easier. Yellow Pico Light makes it easier for you to find rupees. It's pretty much a waste of money unless you're really hauling. <laughs> no, it does not pay for itself at 200 rupees. That's ridiculous most of the... Well, I should say most of the time. Uh, it helps you find the fairies everywhere. That is practically useless as well. As a matter of fact, Pretty much all of these are useless because I found better ways of getting stuff than buying these 200 rupee pickle lights. Uh, it helps you find items. No, thank you. Um, as I said before, the prices are different depending on if you're in the European uh, area, which I mean, uh, yeah, European area, which gets the game. The PAL region, that's the, th that's the name I'm thinking of. Um, the white will be 100 in the PAL region, green will be 100 in PAL, red will be 100 in PAL. Uh, the blue will be 200 in PAL, the, the yellow will be 200 in PAL, and the orange will be 300 in PAL. Why that one's so much more expensive, I don't know. <laughs> anyway, there's a faster way I can get to the Nintendo uh, gallery by going 
down over here. Oh, wait, wait, did I forget to go over and see if Rem has something to say? Yeah, I think I forgot to go over to Rem. Yeah, I'll close with the figurines. Uh, fun fact for you that I heard from someone that might that that, may, that might very well be a reference. His, since his name is Rem, uh, you might know, or I should say you might have heard of this, a sleep cycle is known as REM, Rapid Eye Movement, which makes a lot of sense because he falls asleep a lot. <laughs> anyway, let's see if he has anything to say about the uh, destruction. Oh, I'm sure Zelda won't need any shoes. She's, uh... A little bit frozen at the moment, but uh, don't worry, don't worry, I'll get to her again. <laughs> Alright, let's go take a look at those figures to end off the part, shall we? Not, I'm, as I said, I'm not going to go through all of the dialogue, but I'm just going to go through uh, the ones at a steady pace so that you can see uh, what they look like and whatnot. Uh, let's see, Ezlo here, a strange creature that looks at first like a cap, he speaks roughly and treats Link like a child, but he actually really likes Link. Aww. <laughs> um, a lot of this stuff, as I said before, we already know for the most part, so I'm just going to be skimming down, as I said, at a steady pace so that you can take a look at the figures as I go down th through here, because I sure as heck am not going to go through all this work and, uh, um, not show these figurines, <laughs> but if you want to see the text for yourself, well, collect them. That'll be your task to see what they're like. Using his secret technique, he makes shoes in his sleep. Princess Zelda is the single biggest source of income. <laughs> well, that explains why he was so dedicated. Um, he's mm, see, there's not really all that much interesting uh, in general because see, we already knew this. Um, yeah, <laughs> the biggest gamble of all, interpretership. Uh, but otherwise, for the most part, it's not all that interesting to read through the dialogue. But there is some hints as to how to defeat enemies, like when you get to the enemies. And there are some really neat uh, figurine displays, like they got uh, ones of an entire area of the game. Uh, like, all composed in one specific specific area, so to speak, as like a reflection of the area. A hermit who lived in Mount Crenley has a lot of kinstone pieces. He brags that he won the festival tournament when he was younger. Ah, so he's a swordsman as well. Needless to say, I'm, I'm picking and choosing um, which ones I think uh, are the most interesting as I go through here. Mm, yeah, see, that's not all that interesting. Mm, I, I'm pretty sure... You, she would be better off on uh, talking to Zelda about spells. And yeah, all the fairies have their own names as well. Um, yeah, see, they're, all they do is talk about what, what they give you. Oops. Yeah, stuff like that. Wait, let's see Percy. Mm, poor guy. <laughs> yeah, he did have a lot of issues as well along the way. Nah, uh, but it was pretty funny stuff. Uh, we, you know the way that they said it. I mean, if it really happened to someone, it would be kind of awkward and bad. But I mean, in in, in place of a game picking fun at it, it's pretty funny. Uh, fantasy world and yeah, joy butterflies. Even even they aren't all that uh, interesting. A strange guinea who wants to fuse kinstone pieces, which is somewhat peculiar for monster. She has a lot of pieces, so keep on fusing. Yeah, see, just not really all that interesting. <laughs> I mean, I guess it is sort of interesting if you don't know this stuff, but I've been going through a lot of this stuff already uh, through the walkthrough as well, and you've seen stuff and you pretty much know uh, what's going on in terms of the uh, characters and stuff like that as, my, as I've been going through the origins and theories and stuff like that as well. Uh, here's where you start going through the uh, uh, like main really big figure displays. These are really cool. Like here's all the Blade Brothers in a single... Um, in a single figurine, or actually a single picture. All these self-trained swordsmen have won the fighting tournament and at the Percori Festival before. They see great potential in Link. I had to read that in the voice just one last time. Mm, wait, what? Are, there's more to this? No, it's not at all. Interesting. Oh, there's the Fun Day School, which I described a little bit earlier. Mama's Cafe, we know that well. See, all the, uh, the figurines, some of them are really cool, some of them are boring. It's definitely worth collecting them, them all for that sound test, though, of course. Oh, I like this one. Romeo and Julieta. Yeah, it's reference to Romeo and Juliet. 
grew up next door to one another. They're dating now, but they plan to marry once they get their pet's approval. <laughs> so yet, apparently their pets aren't good friends or something like that, or maybe they don't appreciate them being together, I don't know. And here is Peaceful Hyrule 1, 2, and 3. This was during the Picori Festival as well as before the take well, not before the panic. With a boisterous crow and a cute crest, these feathered friends are the most popular pets in Hyrule. The baby chicks are like small bugs. Uh, was, even that one wasn't all that interesting. <laughs> uh, la, la, sh, they, they sell the finest milk in Hyrule. They, they sell the only milk in Hyrule, so of course it's the finest. There's no competition, it's a monopoly. Uh, let's move on. <laughs> There's no need to get all huffy about that. Oh, here's uh, Gregal and the ghost. Mm, still not all that interesting. Oh, this might be good. Uh, maybe I'll read it in his voice. Tingle in green and his twin younger brother's ankle in purple and knuckle. I'll oh, shoot. And I'll oh, shoot. Wrong way. And knuckle in blue. They believe fusing kinstones will help them meet fairies. So they are recording kinstone data on their maps. David Jr. is not technically a relative. <laughs> Tingle, tingle, kunulimpa! Okay, I'm just being random along the way here. Uh, Spookter tries to be scary, but he's just not. <laughs> Still not all that interesting. Uh, where's the um, like likes? Like likes are always funny because they're the the nom noms of Zelda games. But if you get to know them, they're not so bad. Yeah, that's true. Uh, oh, here's the Armos that I got mixed up for the uh, Igor stat. I mean, Igor statue I got mixed up for the Armos, and Armos says Armos Knights. So, yeah, that's a good way to get to know the uh, names of enemies as well in this game is to collect all the figures. Mm -hmm. I sound like that that grumbling kid in the Zelda games. He's like, mm -hmm. every time you stop talking with him like his, his last line will always be mm, or something like that um, I think yeah they do explain uh, certain enemy weaknesses as you come through here mm, they really want you to use, to use your shield and rolling skills bombs are way better for these guys <laughs> um, still the uh, red dark knots really aren't that much different than the regular except they're a little bit faster and stronger but if you use the bomb method, there's still... Oh, that's their name, Chaser. Appears in dungeons. They move quickly to chase you once they spot you. Your shield will block them, but keep on your toes. Yeah, I, di I didn't know their name offhand when I went through that dungeon the first time. Oh, like, 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 wherefore art thou? Like, like, I love you. Like, like, and you love, love me. Like, like, mm. Yeah, still not all that interesting, even for the more uh, prominent enemies. Don't know why. I guess maybe they're low on time, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, they do go a little crazy, that's for sure. Uh, here's the like-likes. Appears in caves, dungeons, etc. Don't let them grab you. They'll eat your shield if they hold you long enough. Swing your sword to escape. And my favorite, appears in caves, dungeons, etc. This rupee like has a rupee dangling from its headstock. This clever lure attracts greedy and delicious heroes. <laughs> All right, moving on. Mm, yeah, ropes are really easy. Yeah, even boulders are in here. I think they have one. I mean, I think they have a figure for every single sprite in the game. Mm, yeah, the dang random pattern always gets me. Arr, and those ball and chain soldiers also always get me. Arr. Wow, this part is going to be really long. I hope you had some popcorn or something. <laughs> um, going into the Minish enemies here. Puff Stool from Pikmin. Very nice, clever reference there. Now, they don't even mention that um, it's a Pikmin enemy in the game. They, they leave it up to the fans to uh, figure that out on their own. It's kind of uh, subtle in that way. Mm, each uh, Wizrobe has their own... Um, version because they like to show the little animations along with them, you know, the in between animations when they're flashing to do their attack. Um, yep. Classic enemy, the Octorox. Oh, what appears in? Well, we're not sure. The legendary golden Octorok. It can't be confirmed, but they are said to shoot chunks of pure gold. You know, that would be pretty good for uh, getting a bunch of cash and just like, like 
catching a golden octorok than having it shoot some golden gold in the bucket than cash it and then again that would probably destroy the economy because of how easy it would be to get money so maybe not <laughs> All right, Golden Tektite, uh, repeat, this is the Legendary Golden Tektite. Its basic attack is the same, it has much more power. The Legendary Golden Rope. It is much more aggressive than the normal ones, it will attack you on sight. So yeah, I guess there's only three different golden enemies in the game. Uh, it felt like there was more, but they're, they're like all basic uh, Zelda enemies, but, but painted in gold, I suppose, and much more aggressive. Mm, uh, Lakitu, the good old reference to Mario, but even so, they don't even mention that it's in a Mario game as well either, so they're expecting fans to recognize it from other games as well, so it's, it's like the uh, puff stool of sorts, Staphos, the cl classic enemy. It would be kind of funny if uh, there was golden Staphos as well, like what would, what would golden bones be like? Then again, that wouldn't be quite as natural as an enemy, uh, as other enemies, because you know, they don't have skin, but then again, how natural is golden skin anyway in the wild. I just don't see that. <laughs> well, there is goldfish, but... Mm, 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 another cl classic enemy, another classic. Another classic. Uh, sort of a classic. A uh, brand new one. Just still going through. Oh, oh bosses. Here we go. I can read through these. Appears in the Temple of Droplets, frozen solid by the power of water element. He's been frozen so long that his hunger is unbearable. Well, that does explain why it was so aggressive. Uh, we already seen that. Oh, big Goron. This is the legendary Goron with a body bigger than a mountain. This Goron is so big, in fact, that no one has ever seen all of it at once. That makes a lot of sense why it's only half a figure. <laughs> Um, a perfectly ordinary choo-choo, though not much of an enemy usually. They are terrifying to anyone minish size. Well, they're not that hard to defeat, but I suppose if like 80 of them came, you, came, at you, came at you at once, that would be kind of an issue. Plus, they're only weak to the gust jar, which is another thing. <laughs> a glee rock with a hard, rocky shell found in Mount Crennel. Hiding in lava, this blast spews fire on everything it sees. Only it's a very easy boss, so it can't really do much damage. <laughs> Constructed by the Wind Tribe to repel intruders. This sturdy machine cannot be destroyed by any external force. See, that's kind of interesting right there, that it's not uh, an enemy per se, but merely a guard. That's that's a good piece of trivia right there. Uh, an ordinary blue choo-choo. Fighting him, well, Minish size is daunting, but just try to avoid the electric attack. Not all interesting, and we've seen all these before. So, it looks like that I am officially done with the walkthrough right here right now in the Nintendo figurine shop. It's kind of a anti-climactic ending to the video, but that's just how the order of things went based on the pacing of me having to wait for the uh, Pico Light stuff to bloom. So with that, I'm going to end off the walkthrough here. I hope you enjoy, and I hope to see you in the next walkthrough.